In this video, let us learn to draw an ER diagram for the topic Employee Management System. So, what are all the entities? Before choosing the entities, you should know what is an entity. Entity is nothing but an object. An object which is conceptually existing or physically existing. So, in Employee Management System, definitely an employee will be there. This employee is an entity. Because employee is an object and employee is a person, so it is physically existing. Person is physically existing. So therefore, employee is an entity. Entity must be written inside the rectangular box. So I should draw a rectangular box and write the entity name inside that box. So employee is the entity name. The next entity is domain. Now, for example, if the employee belongs to an IT field, then in that there will be many languages like Java, C Sharp and many more. So, domain means that language, language is only domain. Java, C Sharp, those are all the domains. So, some person, some employee belongs to Java domain. Some employee belongs to C Sharp domain. So, that is the meaning for this domain. Next, project. So, if you take this domain, this domain is not physically existing. It is conceptually existing. So, therefore, this is also an object and it is an entity. Next, project. Project is also not physically existing. It is conceptually existing. But still, it is an entity. Next is salary. Salary is also conceptually existing and not physically existing. So these are all the entities. Employee, domain, project and salary are the four entities. So entities must be written inside the rectangular box. Next is attribute. Attribute means characteristics of the entity. So attribute must be written inside the oval shape. So, employee. Employee will have a name. So, employee is a person. So, every person is having a name. So, employee will have a name. Next, employee will have a gender. Whether the employee is male or female. Next, employee will have an employee ID. Employee ID must be underlined because it is a primary key. Now, for example, if a person's, if an employee's employee ID is 3, that same number 3 will not be an employee ID for any other employee. It is going to be unique for every employee. That is the reason why employee ID is a primary key and I have underlined it. Next is date of joining. Date of joining can be an attribute of employee. Next, domain. What are all the attributes of domain? Domain will have a name. I already gave examples. Domain can be Java, C Sharp. All those are the names. Next is the domain ID. Domain ID will also be unique for every batch. For the batch belonging to Java domain, they will be having a unique ID. And the domain which is uh, for C sharp will have a different domain ID. So it is going to be unique for every domain. So I need to underline that. And domain ID is the primary key. Next project. Project will also have a name. Project will have a name and project will also have a project ID. Project ID is going to be a primary key. Because project ID will be unique. So I need to underline that. So now for example for one project if the ID is A, B, 2, 1 that same ID will not be assigned to any other project. Next salary. Salary means you will be having increment as an attribute. Then you will also be having the basic pay. Now if you are going to join in an organization they will tell in the start itself that this is going to be your basic pay, 
thirty thousand is going to be your salary. So that is your basic thing. Increment is every year. You know, some increment will be given. For example, if the basic is thirty thousand and the increment for every year is thousand, then it is going to be thirty one thousand as the increment. So after every month, thousand rupees will be incremented to you. So these are all the attributes of salary. Now we need to connect all the entities. So relationship is an operator which is going to connect all the entities. So I need to draw a diamond box. Diamond box is only the relationship. Now I need to write something inside the diamond box. It can be a verb. So employee works in. So employee works in some domain. If the domain okay works in some domain and in that domain projects will be given. So that domain has projects, and if the project is done, you will be paid. That is, the salary will be given. So employee will work under some domain, and in that domain, projects will be assigned to the employee. And if the employee has completed the project successfully, the salary will be given to the employee. So this is the flow. If you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you